जेबामुशे कित सौहृदार्थ जनेशु देहांतर्वातिकु गेहेश जायात्मजरातिमत्सु न प्रीतियुक्ता जबदाशलोक जेबामुशे कित सौहृदार्थ जनेशु देहांतर्वातिकु गेहेश जायात्मजरातिमत्सु न प्रीतियुक्ता जबदाशलोके गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु परम टोल्ड दैट व्हेन अवर व्हेन अवर हार्ट डिजायर दैट इट बिकम्स इक्वल एंड विद भगवान इट इज जस्ट गेटिंग इक्वल एंड टू द डिजायर ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव एंड भगवान then at that time we can get the topmost peacefulness in our mind jagat guru gaudiya goshti bhi gaudiya goshti prati shishila bhakti sidan saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad already told this point that when our desire and bhagwan and guru vishnu bhagwan whatever is there is getting equal is getting one one equal platform and we are harmonizing it on the same platform only then the bonded jeevas can get actual peacefulness in their life guru mukha padma vakcho hridayate koriya oikyo ar na koriyo mone asha atma nivedan tuva pade kori hoino param sukhi duksho dure gelo chinta na rahilo chaudike anand hari sare kirtan all kirtan actually are there in each and every kirtan one unique point is there when we our independent bhav is there on the type continuously it is there then there is no chance that we will get actual peacefulness all kind of problems of this material world gonna touch to gonna touch our heart and the only solution is only one that is that to surrender on to lotus feet of bhagwan bhagwan sham sundar shri krishna and what is the actual desire of shri krishna sham sundar according to that we will be just uh, Uh, desiring to move our life in that particular way then only we can get actual peacefulness at the battlefield of kurukshetra that uh, our par prachodaya that brahm gayatri is there this brahm gayatri swayam that actual swayam sachidanand vigraha of that brahm gayatri is bhagwan only that uh, in brahm gayatri that prachodaya it's written we are getting one kind of uh, uh, confidence in that and that mantra of this uh, brahm gayatri that the sa- sa- paratvara kileshwar bhagwan shri krishna is the sachidanand vigraha of this brahm gayatri and uh, arjun his friend and krishna to his friend arjun he is giving uh, nice instructions to him and in the way of his giving instructions he is actually instructing all the bonded jeevas of this material world this is the actual purport so that's why this kind of arrangement was done by supreme lord in order to teach his friend so that he can teach to the material bonded jeevas geeta is actually smriti why because it is direct from the lotus mouth of bhagwan it is coming that is called that, that is why it is smriti bhagwan bhagwan swayam from the lotus mouth of bhagwan this is coming automatically and here when we were discussing that that uh, very sinful duryodhan who is actual ansh of kali all the time he is having that political mood all the time his uh, heart is there entangled in fighting and politics and just uh, political background is already there inside his heart all the time and this uh, politics apart from that nothing is there inside his heart that cup that in our shastra it is written in kirtan also it is written when duplicity is there that kapat bhav is there up till that point restlessness will definitely be there if there is no solution out of that fearfulness and rest- restlessness will definitely be there gurudev in order to respect his uh, gurudev gurudev dronacharya 
Guru means Dronacharya, in order to respect him, that uh, in order to on, in order to give him respect, uh, Duryodhan came. But the actual point is that he has just become fearful after seeing the actual uh, battalions of the five Pandavas. That in order to destroy the battalion of Panch Pandav, just by seeing their uh, army battalion, it is some kind of fearfulness came inside the heart of Duryodhan. In order to hide that and come in front of Guru Dronacharya, he started speaking to Guru Dronacharya that uh, this I have already just discussed yesterday regarding this. And this uh, he actually started speaking that that uh, on our side also very uh, brave, brave soldiers are also there. We are also not less than them. This I have already discussed it. Vijatamo, what is the reason by speaking Vijatamo? It means that you are actually Brahman, you are following truthfulness in total. And now, you on the, uh, actually on my side and, uh, and your uh, actual pratigya, in order it should get accomplished. Why? Because this is, he is definitely on the side of Adharma, Duryodhan. But that's why a fearfulness is there inside his heart. Who is there on the side of Adharma? Definitely all the time there is some weak point always inside his heart. That he, because he is there on the pathway of Adharma, what to do? And Dronacharya inside his heart that for, for Panch Pandavas, five Pandavas, so much love and affection is there. That you can't even have any news. Duryodhan don't know about that. And this sneha or love and affection. If it is actually getting melted. Then we can get. Um, we will just uh, lose this battle. And because of the fearful. Having different different vichars. He is speaking in front of Guru Dronacharya. And he is doing Guru Giri on Gurudev. He is dominating his Guru. He is speaking that you see. Our soldiers are also very strong. We are also not less. These all people that they are Yuddha Visharat, they are all experienced in fighting battles. Very, very experienced they are in fighting battles. All actually uh, uh, warriors' name he has told already to Gurudev. And they all actually, even they want to sacrifice, are ready to sacrifice their life for us. So, all these, uh, they actually all ready to give their life for us here, for them. That about their bravery and courage. On this, we are having full confidence. And in the, in the battlefield, definitely we will get victory. This kind of conception came in the mind of Duryodhan. There is only one way by speaking this kind of words to Guru Dronacharya is that that he is actually just deviating the actual uh, mind of Guru Dronacharya and he wants to politically handle his mind. And after that, actually kind of argument came because it is all rubbishness and foolishness when Bhagavan Shri Krishna is actually speaking that uh, tomorrow you come in the morning to me and you whatever you want to ask whoever will come first I will just give it whatever he wants this I am there and my 18 uh, battalion force is also there here so uh, tomorrow morning who will come first he can take whatever he wants from me and Duryodhan actually is having false ego he is actually uh, standing in f- Arjun is standing in front of lotus feet of Bhagwan, and on the head Duryodhan is actually standing and after that uh, it is already getting divided whatever you want to take you can take Krishna speaking and Arjun thinking that Prabhu I, I need you you stay with me that's it I don't need anything else Bhagwan, if it, he is there then everything is there but he if Duryodhan is so much false ego he don't know this thing at all he is taking the 18 uh, battalion force from uh, from Krishna. That battalion force, 18 battalion force, he wants that, Adhuryodhan. So after that, and he is doing give, giving argument. 
Abhirakshitam Pariyaptam Tu idam etesam Balam bhima virakshitam Aparyaptam Aparyaptam Matlab hai Aparyaptam means that aprimeo means Aparyaptam this word actually means aponymium that prachur is very uh, special and another point can be there prayatam aprachur so this vichar is there and both the vichars the, this aprayaptam this two meanings have been given by commenter that aparyapta means that he is not at all eligible to do that particular work. Bhishma, uh, Bhishma and paryapta means that on my side this kind of uh, bravery and confidence they are having this is very very higher and it is very very higher than the, as compared to the Pandavas. It is more than enough. And this uh, beam actually is protecting this whole army of Pandavas. This is Pariyapta means this is actually it is not at all more. It is very less in number as compared to us. What does it mean actually? That what is the actual meaning of what he is speaking, Duryodhan, what, what he is speaking? What is the actual meaning of that? It means that he is actually increasing the confidence, boosting up the confidence. And uh, he is speaking to Bhima, that Bhima is actually called Ardhrati, what he will do? He, what, he will become Senapati? No, not at all, he can't be like that. And, and the second point is that, Anyhow, whatever condition that he is actually standing on the point of strategy, each by a hook or crook, he wants to want. He, he is actually making uh, efforts to protect Bhishma Vitama. Why? Because he, according to his own will, he and efforts he is doing uh, fighting. And at the time of fighting, who is there at the backside? He don't know at all. And. Ayan Yesu means each and every direction. He just want to protect Bhishma Pitama. Ayan means that from any gate, that uh, enemy can come from any gate. From any direction it can come. From the entry gate, any enemy can come, unwanted enemy. In the fighting, there is one strategy that from in order to just make one kind of uh, conclusion in that, Duryodhan actually speaking. Now all that you know, everyone should do protection of Bhishma Pitama from every direction. Why? Because Senapati Bhishma, if he will become Nirapad. If he becomes right and protected all the time, then there is no problem at all. So now you, that Dronacharya you are, and you are actually Guru, you are and Pitama Bhishma, you and Pitama Bhishma, both of, him, both of you, with very silent mood, you are actually making this effort that our, our victory should be there definitely. Definite victory should be there. Because if Bhishma will become Nirapad, his Vijay is also getting Siddhi. His victory is also getting Siddhi.
So this, just by speaking it all, he cannot. He is actually getting represented. The battle is going to start. And now this is the actual starting. That for Gurukul, all those very old and experienced persons, that Pitamaha, Bhishma, to the Ryodhan, he in order to just give some courage and courage and confidence. Anantar, the topmost Vikram Shali Kuru Bhishma Pitama, he is actually in order to give him to Anand that uh, whatever that his own doubt what it is there that uh, fighting is uh, in order to start the fight and uh, just by declaring the fi fighting that he has just blown the conch shell very loudly so very loud voice he is actually doing the conch shell the sound of the conch shell is coming very loudly so like this Duryodhan he, is in, he has just gave confidence to Duryodhan that yes I am there already and by just blowing the conch shell Bhishma made Duryodhan happy for a bit of time and now this is one kind of uh, war zone going on there on the Kurukshetra battlefield. Singhanadam, in order to just um, uh, use this this word, Singhanadam word, that what Ved Vyasji is actually using this word Singhanadam. Upaman. That your own karma, like you are blowing the conch shell. Your karma is also like uh, uh, Singh. Singh means loin. So, so like this, Pitama Bhishma is blowing his conch shell before starting the bar war. And why actually he is actually started the conch shell? Why? Because he is the most honorable and uh, um, big in age. And is mature in it, so that's why he started the conch shell. Abhavat. Tumulo Abhavat. After this, each and every conch shell, respective conch shell, they have blown. These are all at the time of war, they are actually blowing that. All the uh, respective soldiers and warriors they started uh, blowing that conch shell and uh, all just uh, that conch shell after blowing that in the air it looks like that the uh, cl the cloud will burst up the sky will burst up that tumultuous sound just came out of the conch shell those who are uh, full of fear there who is who has fear inside his heart he will become more and more fearful after uh, hearing those tumultuous sounds of the conch shell after that it is actually written there here on that side bhagwan shri krishna and Dhananjay, Shweta means just like horse. This is actually your chariot on that. Definitely, Arur is there, or every, everyone is there, and with that, they are just blowing that conch shell with the tumultuous sound. Mahati Sanande 
दिस हनुमान जी महाराज फ्लैग ऑन द चैरियट इट इज नॉट अ नॉर्मल चैरियट हनुमान जी महाराज स्वयं इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फ्लैग इज देयर ऑन द चैरियट वेयर अर्जुन इज राइडिंग एट विच आर कृष्णा इज राइडिंग सो दिस बाय स्पीकिंग दिस वर्ड दिस चैरियट इज नॉट एट ऑल नॉर्मल दिस चैरियट जस्ट बाय सिटिंग इन दैट नाउ बोथ बोथ माधव माधव इज दुर्ग वचन बिकॉज ऋषिकेश भगवान इज पांच जन्य ऋषिकेश एंड देव दत्तम धनंजय मीन्स दैट द एक्चुअल कॉन्शल ऑफ धनंजय हिज नेम इज दैट नेम ऑफ कॉन्शल इज देव दत्त एंड भगवान श्री कृष्ण पंचजन्य दैट हिज नेम हिज कॉन्शियल नेम इज पंचजन्य ब्रिकोदर भीम ऑल्सो ब्लोन हिज रिस्पेक्टिव कॉन्शियल कौंतरम दिस इज द एक्चुअल नेम ऑफ शंख ही एक्चुअली ब्लोन ब्लोन दैट इसके बाद आफ्टर दैट अनंत विजय कौशल नेम्ड कौशल इज एक्चुअली ब्लोन बाय युधिष्ठिर महाराज एंड नकुल एंड सहेदेव नकुल एंड सहदेव नकुल जी एज ब्लोन सुघोष एंड सहदेव हिज कौन कौनशल इज मनी पुष्प बोथ ऑफ देम सुखो सुखो सो मनी पुष्प हो बिकॉज नकुल एंड सदेव मीन्स बोथ ऑफ देम आर ब्लोइंग द रिस्पेक्टिव कौनशल दैट किंग द्रुपद एंड द्रौपदी दैट वॉट एवर ऑल काइंड ऑफ ऑल सन्स ऑफ द्रौपदी ऑल्सो द्रौपदी नंदन महाभा मीन सोभर सुभद्रा नंदन समावा they are blowing their kanks they all actually are uh, blowing their respective kanks shells and they have just introduced the actual uh, starting of the battle on the battlefield on on kurukshetra battlefield panchajanya shank ka bare mein panchajanya shank you already know about that panchajanam out of that one is asya inside the ocean uh, it is there it is there inside the ocean deep inside the ocean at that time that his own gurudev just by following his uh, gurudev's order samundar ka andar gaye he has just gone inside the uh, ocean and his uh, that just for the actual uh, anusandhan of his uh, uh, son of guru and after just uh, killing him just by taking his uh, ashes into the ocean in with his own hand he is actually taking the conchal that is panchajanya and dhananjay it is very much important to speak because out of the there 10 names are very important of arjun out of that arjun is arjun is the major name prominent name and himalay uh, parvat and in himalaya mountain that uh, uttar falguni nakshatri has taken birth that is why his name is falguni also and dudarsh shatru jai that in front of enemies who is just killing them and jishnu jishnu means that uh, in front of his enemy he is so much courageous and so much uh, full of bravery bravery 
Dudharsha, that he is actually killing his uh, uh, Jishnu. That's why his name is Jishnu because he's destroying his enemies. Devrajendra. Just by getting full preeti towards uh, towards Arjun, he is giving him kirit onto his head. That is why his name is Kiriti. Kiriti, that so much opulence. Even Devrajendra, in he is actually the ansh of Deva Devrajendra only Arjun. But all those Panjabanda. The actual history, lot of back history is there. I don't have any time, this much time to speak. But still, this is actually in the line of Devrajendra. Don't think that Devrajendra in the Ansh of Devrajendra, definitely how it can get Nitya Parshad. It means that, that Arjun definitely is Nitya Parshad of Bhagwan. This your, this your Yaduvansha at the birth of Yaduvansha. They are also Devatansh is also there and Nitya Parshadans are also there. Both of them are there. When he just we will leave his body, that is one portion will go to his to heaven and the next other portion will go to the Nitya Dham. That actual position it will go. So Devraj Indra he is actually putting one kriti, that very nice opulent uh, crown jewel he is putting on the head of Arjun that's why his name is Kriti and he is taking a very nice chariot and he is there onto the battlefield Arjun Shwetashwayukta it means he is actually there with Shwetashwa he is there onto the battlefield Shwetavahan another name is Shwetavahan At the time of uh, battle, uh, whatever kind of rules and regulations, he hasn't uh, destroyed his uh, the rules and regulations of the battle. He all the time has obeyed that. In the battlefield, at the time of battlefield, this kind of anyai is not at all done before. That they have broken the rules and regulations of the battlefield. They definitely have obeyed all the rules and regulations of the battle, of the war in the battlefield. That's why his name is Vivatsu. That he has not at all disobeyed uh, or done re, uh, the reversal of all the rules and regulations. And in order to just uh, uh, get victory over uh, the enemies, he hasn't came back at all. He already, uh, all the time he will go and destroy his enemies. Arjun, that's his name is Vijay. Vijay. The uh, second name of Arjun is Vijay. Krishna Varna, that he is that he has Sham Varna, just like Krishna's body, he is also having the same body like that. So that he is having Krishna Varna. This, this is the actual uh, bodily lustre. That is his name is uh, Krishna. Another name of Arjun is Krishna also. Krishna Varna, that's why his name is Krishna. Same body, bodily features like Krishna. And Dakshina, that his both hands, right and left hands, are all balanced. Means that both the hands he can just uh, maintain equally. He can work with both the hands. That's his name is Sarvasachi. And that all the Janapada, he has just got victory and whatever kind of uh, treasure he has just uh, taken. Wherever he has gone, in all the four directions, he has taken uh, all the kings and uh, kingships. They have given all the kind of sound wealth in the hand of Arjun. That's why his name is Dhananjay. He has given everything to Arjun. So wherever he has gone, after winning all the Janapad of the kings and uh, different different kingships, he has taken on his shoulder and whatever wealth he has collected, that kind of uh, failure and bravery he has taken. That is why his name is Dhananjay. So like this, slowly, steadily, this kind of uh, uh, names of Arjuna is given. It, now you can understand by this that all the kind of sense organs, different, different sense organs, who is having controlling, that is called Rishikesh. Bhagwan, that is the actual name of Bhagwan, Rishikesh.
who is the controller and master of all the sense organs so by this word rishikesh we can understand one meaning is coming that there is some reason behind this why we are giving that definitely battle is going on on the battlefield but everything is there in my hands everything is in my control that's why the name is rishikesh here everything is in my control only that uh, war is going on okay externally in the same way slowly steadily all actually is getting uh, uh, rectified there and uh, slowly steadily इट मीन्स दैट ऑल काइंड ऑफ कॉन्ग शेल कमिंग फ्रॉम द पंच पॉइंट ऑफ साइड द ब्लोन ब्लोइंग ऑफ द कॉन्ग शेल इट हैज जस्ट केम आफ्टर दैट द कॉन्ग शेल हैज ब्लोन इट लुक्स लाइक दैट ऑल दिस this whole material world that now now the present situation now kurukshetra battle is going to start and uh, and inside their heart the lot of fear is actually putting on the side of the persons who are there on the other side adharmic those who are adharmic it looks like as if the cloud and the sky and earth that whole world it's just like it is just cracked by the vibration of the conch shell tumult of sound of the conch shell so by after getting this tumult of sound of the conch shell different different kind of situations has arise there as if some kind of tsunami or earthquake has come who has just vibrated the whole sky and the earth as if so sound is actually rising more and more and in that that the dhritarashtra paksh on the side of dhritarashtra that those all duryodhan and kauravs are there it looks as if their heart is actually just getting vibrate vibrated by fearfulness that they are just already get defeated and this already this actually has been uh, given that uh, pandavas are already on the victory side and after that अथ मीन्स दैट आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर दैट ऑल दी ऑल दी ऑल दी सोल्जर्स दे हैव ऑलरेडी सीन कपिल देव जी में दैट हनुमान जी इज फ्लैग इज देयर ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द चैरियट ऑफ अर्जुन दैट इज व्हाई कपित हो जा धृतराष्ट्र ऑन द ऑन द साइड ऑफ धृतराष्ट्र ऑल दोस ऑल द सोल्जर्स दे हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट एंड व्हाट एवर काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वेपन्स दे आर हैविंग दैट वेपन्स एंड एम्यूनिटीज व्हाट दे हैव दैट द वॉर इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नाउ एंड एवरीवन इज रेडी टू फाइट so gandip ko uttaran karke that just by taking the gandhi in his hand bhagwan shri krishna he is actually spe- arjun speaking to krishna that he requested his friend tadavakyam idam aho mahi prabhitya sastra sampad dhani uddam pandava ye arjun this arjun gandhi he is taking the gandhi in his hand ekdam almost ready almost ready to fight and in this situation he is actually speaking and at that time he is actually speaking to, to his krishna he started speaking this word what is the word meaning of the word he is speaking arjun now speaking to arjun uh, to krishna that senayor ubhayor madhe ratham sthapaya mayachit that you do one thing oh, oh friend you do one thing that in between the both in between both the armies you just put my chariot there you establish my chariot this is one kind of instruction arjun is given 
definitely one kind of madhurya is also hidden in that because parat par akhileshwar bhagwan who is that topmost virat vastu swarat vastu he is actually who is there to instruct him <laughs> everything is actually going on his instruction so who is there to instruct that supreme lord he is actually friend arjun one friend is arjun that out of the five pandavas there bhagwan actually so much attached to panch pandavas sometimes in the form of a a uh, servant is going and in the form of some uh, instructor is going and sometimes becoming a char- uh, who is driving the chariot driver so it is possible because bhagwan is actually it is possible for bhagwan because where there is prem that krishna the, that bhagwan is always the well wisher of his devotees and all the times he surrender to his devotees so the first from the first skand shlok you can also find this so swig sarat definitely bhagwan is there swig swig sarat but another swarup is there that by prema i am getting uh, uh, attached to my devotees i am getting surrender to my devotees in this there is no kind of independent bhav at all inside me why because i am actually surrender to my devotees this is actually one kind of instruction given by arjun the how you can give instruction to gurudev yes everything is possible this is also one kind of madhurya why what to kind of work you have javat etano nirikshi aham javat etano nirikshi aham yuddha kamano avasthitan jitna sari this whatever kind of uh, that all the people are, all the warriors are there on the battlefield to just fight that in order to just see each and every one just by taking each and every darshan of each and every warrior and soldier that's why i am i am instructing you to take the chariot in between the two armies i want to take the darshan who and all i have come and this kind of word he is speaking this is just one kind of instruction the mark means inside his heart so much power is there so much tej is teja is there that as if he wants to speak that arjun just uh, he speaking krishna you just can take the chariot in between the two armies so that i can see who has uh, so much uh, power that they can fight with me this they let me see how much courage and bravery so much power is there in this word uh, just by externally seeing this is normal word but there is the, uh, this is the actual bhav of the word how actually arjun can speak like this then so now after seeing what you will so yes i want to see that who has so much bravery and courage inside their heart that they can come in front of me and can fight with me that let me see how they have so much patience and power to beat me who with whom i have to fight let me see that asmi asmin rano samudgam ye this this top most sangyam who all are there in the army with whom i have to fight that i want to see that you just please take the chariot in this way arjun is instructing to uh, krishna so this is the actual reason so this is arjun wants to speak that uh, the battle uh, that uh, in all jit full uh, confidence who have already taken this confidence to come in front of me to have battle to fight with me on the battlefield especially i want to see that who all that they have come on the battlefield i want to see that that definitely their uh, their mind and intelligence is out of order but still i want to see that why ritrashtra who is actually on the side of adharma all the, all the time he is there on the side of adharma it means that dhritarashtra and dhritarashtra also there is one meaning of this word dhritarashtra i have heard from guru varga dhritarashtra dhrito rashtra that when you are dividing it separately dhrita plus rashtra it means that annayena dhritam rashtram iti dhritarashtra 
that anyay who is on the side of adharma who is doing adharm adharmic activities and he just have uh, just taken up the all his uh, uh, kingship that in order to follow dharma he has no kind of uh, uh, feeling or attachment to follow that that's why his name is dhritarashtra that uh, that kauravas have so much uh, false ego that they are actually fighting against pandavas parikshit is also this name parikshit in bhagavatam i have already told you about the meaning of parikshit parikshit means tested already tested already tested and found okay by bhagwan it is already tested by bhagwan that is called parikshit it is already tested by bhagwan otherwise how he can this kind of identity that with paramashrest sukhdev in front of him he is actually just started listening shrimad bhagavatam just for the actual mangal of the whole material world he is doing durjodhan durjodhan etc all the karna his own brothers all dushashan everyone what are there on the side of adharma dhritarashtra side they are on the side of adharma and up till this point also pitama bhishma is also there pitama bhishma that according to his previous pratigya wo what he has taken pitama bhishma don't want to do any kind of adharmic adharmic activity but still because of his previous wo what he he just need to keep quiet in the adharma sabha when draupadi asked her question that you are actually following so much pravachan of dharma so when everyone wants to make me naked and this dusht uh, uh, all those of uh, foolish kauravs where you are there then whatever who are there on the side of adharmi adharma definitely they will get destroyed that uh, he has taken a vow that up till the last the end of my life i have to uh what i have to serve hastinapur so in the life of the uh, panch pandavas also this kind of woe they also have taken similar woes that's why bisham vidama actually falling that woe by uh, fighting from the side of uh, adharma but this is one kind of external intelligence or mind you are putting dhritarashtra external dhritarashtra the trust extra core of all those uh, whatever kind of uh, this whole uh, battalions of force they all have come and are they are uh, fighting uh, with pandavas uh, and they are on the side of adharma uh, if we i want to see it uh, in total uh, arjun speaking and you just uh, please uh, take this chariot in front of both the army so that i can see it clearly so like this when bhagwan shri krishna has just uh, get got the instruction of arjun and has accepted that and just taken the chariot in between the two armies so that arjun can see whom to fight with and and aisa karke like this arjun slowly steadily he is speaking to krishna and krishna also accepted his instructions and just by accepting his instructions he has taken the chariot in between the two armies and at that time there is very the top problem biggest problem came at that time only now sanjay gavalgan rishi san sanjay who has got the actual uh, uh, actual uh, benef- ben- benediction from veda vyas dwapan veda vyas he got the benediction that he has got the transcendental lies from him so that uh, he can stay at the uh, hastinapur and can uh, is doing the relay of what is actually going on on the battlefield he can see that with his transcendental lies what is going to happen he knows that why because there actually he is sitting and he is getting the darshan shakti by sitting there he is getting the darshan shakti by sitting there sanjay now speaking to bhishma pitama so like this guna kesh this word also it, two days before i have already done guna kesh means that who has already taken uh, uh, who has already uh, overlook sleep who has already taken victory over sleep 
who is uh, himself got victory over sleep Yes, by accepting the instructions, Rishikesh, Bhagwan Shri Krishna, Bhagwan Rishikesh, in between the two armies, he has just put his chariot of Arjun in between that, and after that, Arjun actually just standing with a very nice mood, a very uh, carefully seeing where, where, what is what. With Guru Paksha, those who want to fight with them on the on the side of Guru, Bhishma, Dron, Praviti, all etc. All soldiers he is seeing very carefully. Now he started speaking something. To who actually speaking? He is speaking to to his friend, Bhagwan Shri Krishna, Arjun speaking. He started speaking to Arjun, uh, to Bhagwan Shri Krishna, and it's like this that just by seeing that, just by seeing that uh, the actual situation of the battlefield inside Arjun, he's actually become very shocked and very much shocked to see the battlefield condition because why actually I have come onto this battlefield in order to fight with all my relatives. In that all the battlefield, that all the relatives, brothers, everyone is there. Pitamaha, Bhishma is there, Gurudev is there. Everyone, Pitritul, everyone is there on the battlefield. All Acharyas are also there on the battlefield. Everyone is there. All his brothers, fathers, sisters, everyone are there. All relatives are there. So just by seeing everything, Arjun inside the heart of the Hirje, uh, uh, the heart of Arjun has got melted, and uh, with sympathy he can't even stand there, and his uh, heart has become so much weak, and he has got some fearfulness inside his heart just by seeing that so much, uh, so much uh, courage he is there before, and now after seeing the whole scenario. He is actually just, his heart just got transformed and uh, it just got transformed completely. Now it actually, that uh, Arjun got uh, Vairagya, but it is not at all actual Vairagya. In, according to the Shastra Vichar, this is not at all Vairagya what Arjun is showing at present. This is just, just Hirde Dorbalya, weakness of the heart. Bhagavan Shri Krishna is speaking that this is weakness of heart, Hirde Dorbalya. Hirde Dorbalya, it means it's a weakness of heart. This is nothing else. This, uh, this is not at all the actual behavior of Pandit. This is just like a foolish person. It looks like that it is Vairagya, but it is not at all Vairagya at all. So like this, Sen Vaini Sena, the whole battalions already is there. He knows each and everyone who is there in his battalion. And everyone is his persons only on the opposite side as well. So after seeing the whole scenario, his heart situation just got transformed completely what was before. And after that, Bhagwan, Bhagwan Shri Krishna, he started speaking how like not, not Iksho, it's a Miksho, especially he has just instructed it. Analytically, that analytical survey he is taking from Krishna. Just by, just by seeing it very carefully, he is making this decision, this Kunti Patra Arjun. Kontheyo, everyone is our persons only. 
एवरी वन इज अवर पर्सन जस्ट बाय एवरी थिंग वॉट एवर यू कैन सी दीज आर ऑल माई रिलेटिव ओनली आफ्टर दैट ही हैज जस्ट चेंज इज मोर टोटली अर्जुन Here actually it is written that that full uh, daya mood, merciful mood, he has just taken that. He has got too much merciful. Just by seeing the whole scenario, he has just become so much distressed. After he just want to speak all the sorrowful things to whom. This actually he started speaking to Krishna. This is definitely Krishna is there. He is speaking to him all the sorrowful uh, uh, thoughts what is coming inside his heart. So like this, he started speaking like this, and after that, this. Arjun started speaking to Krishna. Bhagwan Shri Krishna, he started speaking that this all by seeing my relatives and God brothers and God fathers, everyone. That in in this battlefield, uh, that I am, everyone is on this battlefield to sacrifice their life. Just by seeing that, just by seeing that. After seeing all this, that all our relatives and all my brothers and sisters, that this my body has just become shocked and trembled with fear. I am just getting amazed and surprised. It my situation is totally opposite, and my my mouth is getting dried up by seeing all this, and sweat is coming, and my mouth and from my body sweat is coming. So like this. This is the condition. What Arjun is there at the present battlefield, and what to do now? Definitely, he hasn't done any kind of uh, uh, effort, but still, by thinking that his heart, this mouth has become, his tongue has become dry, his mouth has become dried. So he, you haven't actually started the battle. How you are actually getting these kind of symptoms? Symptoms. So by this using this upsarg here, samadhi janit this word, just by give, getting into samadhi, that it is very much uh, fearful to get into this condition. Just by fearfulness, just having uh, too much distress and sympathy uh, towards them, by this only you are getting this kind of uh, samadhi bhav. That was uh, Krishna speaking to Arjun. No, like this, it is written here. Not, it's not like that, but also that the full pravachan actually is going on there. Arjun speaking. That you see that our body, that is vapor to pump, means that it is trembling with fear. That our my room cook that hair follicles are standing on uh, are getting erect, and my body is getting sweat. That my gandiv. I can't able to handle my gandiv in my hand. This is also actually slipping from my hand. Gandiv is actually slipping from my hand. That uh, that it is getting slipped from my hand slowly, steadily. It is not at all getting fixed in my hand. And whatever kind of things what I'm seeing, that whatever kind of clothes I have wear, it is getting loosened up. 
and I am just getting burning sensation in my body. I have just lost my adharya, that bravery and courage mood and my situation is just like that. That so much burn and jealousy is coming in my body that my whole body is getting burned up as it, it looks and I can't even have this kind of uh, eligibility to stand up. That my heart, that I don't have this eligibility to stand up, my body is trembling, is shaking a lot and I don't have this kind of uh, ability also to stand up. That my heart is also is getting, uh, my heart is also getting here and there. It is just uh, remo- removing, revolving in a circle. Why? That whole opposite uh, uh, bhav, he is actually, he is seeing the whole opposite scenario on the battlefield. Hey Keshav, that opposite scenario now I am actually seeing on the battlefield at present. It means that topmost amangal in near future i after the battlefield will uh, be over and the battle will be over what will be the actual thing what arjun wants to speak that what will be the actual uh, result of after getting after the after the battle is over it's very very dreadful and dangerous i already can see that krishna oh keshav what will be done after that So all kind of uh, bad symptoms, I can already see that and feel that inside my heart. And I can just uh, declare that also that it will be very dreadful in near future. That I, my heart actually is just getting uh, away. It's revolving in uh, opposite direction and I can't even stand also. And my heart is becoming weak. That uh, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is thinking that this is Hirde Dorbalya, this is weakness of heart. And he's speaking, Arjun speaking that... That all kind of amangal I am seeing all around. This all, his relatives, uh, everyone, father, mother, everyone after killing them, after killing my close ones, I don't want to stay at all. I want to die. No mangal can be done. I can already see that. No mangal will be done. Will definitely no mangal will be done. Anyhow. And Shreya means mangal. That no mangal will be done at all. Analytic, analytically I can see that uh, no mangal can be there. Just I can see the futuristic. Uh, I am putting a futuristic thought that nothing will be done. Anupasami means that just by making a full vichar I am actually seeing the actual future. What will be done in future. That just by uh, murdering all of them in the battlefield, that what just by killing my own father, mother and uh, own Gurudev, I will not at all get any Mangal at all. That uh, this is not my mood that I can, uh, I, I have to take the, uh, winning the battle and take the kingship. It's not my mood at all. That I don't want to get any kind of victory in the battlefield and this kind of kingship and all kind of nice kingship and nice comfortable mood I don't want at all in my life. All these things I don't need at all. He's speaking to Krishna, Arjun. So whatever be the case like this, Arjun actually is speaking his... Uh, internal bhav of his heart in front of Keshav and started speaking in front of Krishna. Up till that, he is speaking and Krishna noticing that he is speaking. That okay, let him speak. Up till what point he can speak. After that, Krishna is just uh, uh, not speaking anything and just listening to him. He is actually seeing the actual situation of Krish- uh, Arjun. What actually happened to him? Jesa Marthe Kankitam no Rajam Bhogaha Sukhanicha. 
this thing in order to get uh, manifested this i have already told you previously all kind of money power position or pratishtha whatever is there if in front of us if no one is there to that all our relatives and all no one is there to see that that what is the use of that that from upanishad i have already talked about this if atma is there then only you have this kind of uh, then in front of your mother also your the uh, child is crying if atma is not at all there then all brother father nothing nothing is there only with the atma that kind of relationship we are feeling that the whole material world actually is uh, that exchange of priti is going on between the two uh, members if atma is not at all there then no exchange of priti can be done between uh, two jivas so this actually is there that what i can take by taking this whole kingship after killing my own persons that this kind of sensual enjoyment i will be taking and uh, after just destroying everything what i will do after that that for them this all name fame position whatever kingship is uh, is required for them and if they will also not stay then what is the use of that what is the actual use of all this if it is not at all there then definitely if i will live also what is the use of that wo oh, govind what i will do govind means govind means that go means uh, sense organs whatever are material sense organs are there the who is the actual controller and master of that who is actually controlling that and externally he is actually just uh, um, controlling a uh, cause but actual meaning of govind is this he is the controller of all the infinity jivatmas ato imi avasthita yuddhe pranam stakta dhanani cha ta imi avasthita yuddhe esav apna this all they are actually just uh, putting their life and they are actually sacrificed everything for the uh, on this battlefield hey, they have just come came on the battlefield to in the war and they will be just uh, fighting in this battlefield by sacrificing everything and all actually have just came in front of me in on the battlefield to fight with me that all name fame position everything they have just sacrificed it just for this battlefield and they are just came to in the battle to fight all acharyas mad father pitamah um, sons and my go- son in laws everyone has just came on the battlefield all kind of my close relatives also have just came on to this battlefield this i can already see it physically practically and in order to kill them all on the battlefield what is the actual use i will get just by killing them i don't want to kill them at all that this is not my will at all to kill them all up till this point also that if i will kill myself then it will be good if in the starting also i have already told that the if the actual will of bhagwan will be equivalent to his devotee then it is okay here arjun is actually having independent will and the actual will of bhagwan is different that is why restlessness is coming so much kind of uh, 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 restlessness is there because of that only he madhusudan if swayam i can get killed uh, myself then it is good so that but i don't want to kill them at all it's better that i should kill myself or i should get killed before uh, starting the battle sargamarto batal trilokya rajya sahetaha ye next shloka mein this next shloka actually it is written op trilokya rajya sahetaha kinu mahipat mahikriti ye this trilok this in three lok those adipati of the three loka if someone wants to stay but still i am not at all uh, ready kisi mahi mahi kritya matlab 
Mahi Krithi means it means that whatever kind of uh, kingship of this whole material kingdom, I don't want to take that of this material earth, whatever is there for enjoyment, property, name, fame, position, pratishtha and kingship. These are all actually normal, ordinary things. If they want to give me the whole earth, even heaven also they want to give me, still I won't be able to take that. I am not at all uh, ready to take. That uh, Swarg Martvatal, hell, heaven and all the other Brahmans, if I am they are giving, I will not be taking that as well. That what kind of Preeti? That Preeti Bhav. Whatever kind of uh, advantage I can take for the Preeti. And just by that uh, who are there on the side of Dhritarashtra, just by killing them all. You know, what kind of... Uh, what kind of priti I will be exchanging and whatever kind of treasure for priti and whatever fruit I will get out of the priti by killing them. No attachment I can get. Whatever kind of priti, what priti I can get. What priti janak I can get. What kind of priti I can get by killing them. So like this, Arjun slowly, steadily speaking. And just in order to get the Trilokya Adipati also. If someone wants to give me out of these three Lokas, still I don't have any wish to take that. Anything. What to do? That my own relatives, those all my own relatives and all my brothers and sisters, whatever I can see. this Because this world is actually relative in nature. Temporary. And this kind of uh, vachan of Arjun is actually... Uh, practically uh, externally it looks uh, perfect that this relative world actually is this temporary world Prabhupada just written one book previously truth is two of two types real real truth and apparent truth relative in the relative truth that all relative uh, relationships are there everything is relative that my place time preaching whatever I am doing it's all because of if I will by doing the vichar on the basis of Atma then only we can understand this is all relative that this is my house this is my father this is my mother this is my friend this is my brother and this is my own money all actually whatever you are having attached to with this material body is all material and temporary in nature it is very easy to speak but in order to realize that practically in your own life, then it is very much difficult. That nobody wants to uh, save, one, you don't want to, don't want to uh, leave even one paisa. It is very easy to uh, show it externally, but internally very difficult practically in our life. It means that Arjun in this relative world, he is having this uh, material world, temporary relative world. That whatever kind of relative relationships are there, that that what is the actual relationship of Atma with the with the Bhagwan is uh, with this body is relative, and when actually Atma is getting into the body, then one kind of relative relationship is there with the body, and Arjun. That's for all the Rishi Minus in the Shastras also regarding Rishi Munis, It's written that it is very much difficult for them also to attain this stage. That for Muni Rishi is also, they are also living that, that this is my father. Like you see, the son of Dronacharya was killed just by seeing that what is the actual situation of Dronacharya. He can't even uh, imagine that. And he is not a normal person, Guru Dronacharya. But still, this relative world also is there. But still, that uh, relationship is there of this relative world. In order to just break that, it is very, very difficult to break it completely. It is very easy to speak, but very, very difficult to break. And up till that point, in this material world, that relative relationship is there. Just you will be just uh, uh, kicking that out and separate it, and then you are not at all atta attaching it to Krishna. Then it's very, very difficult to get uh, actual realization. That what is the relationship of this material world and transcendental world because everyone has to go from this material world. That this is just two days uh, of this life we are getting. But still, 
after uh, knowing this but it is equivalent to not knowing that it is all the same by not knowing and knowing it as well when you have some kind of information regarding something if it if it if it is scientific information with full practical realization you are getting with full practical realization this actually is getting fixed inside your heart with full realization then it is okay otherwise what is the use what is the use so like this arjun has speaking a very long pravachan in front of krishna and krishna just listening it listening it from long time what arjun is speaking and after he just like a big pandit actually speaking in front of krishna that that this atatai this uh, situation what i'm putting to is very much difficult that uh, that all those who are those who are actually very bad in nature they are giving mala and they are actually taking off their wife and uh, their uh, daughter and those who are enemies who are giving poison all these actually atatai in manu samhita it is written that this atatai by seeing that about atatai it is written that bhagwan also in shri mad bhagwat ji mahapuran regarding this he already written we can see there when ashwatama they have just taken ashwatama uh, in the courtyard of pandavas and then uh, bhagwan shri krishna speaking to arjun atatai means that definitely you have to kill that person who is doing atatai all kind of rubbish things definitely you have to kill him and after that when judishir maharaj when judishir maharaj what kind of uh, what is the actual will of bhim what is the actual will of yudhishthir and what is the actual will of draupadi you just need to ask that after hearing that what to do at that time that you see atotai definitely it is actually right to do but this brahma bandhu he is actually brahman he is even brahma bandhu also like he is just by title he is brahman he is just the he has no done he hasn't done any work of brahman that whatever the work of a brahman is not at all doing he is doing just opposite but he is just a titled brahman name brahman but he has just taken birth in a brahman family but he is not actually brahman by his duties dronacharya's son ashwatthama is the same that even brahm bandhu he is that he is just by name a brahman still you just need don't need to kill him at all atatai okay he is doing atatai you just need to kill but he, after that he they have taken the vichar and after that they have taken this decision by giving full vichar the conclusion the okay whatever you want to do you can do he is speaking to arjun krishna so like this bhagwan every vachan that is paroksha vachan transcendental that bhagwan is not all speaking directly he is actually speaking indirectly if you want to take it then okay otherwise you can go and in geeta also this actually direct vachan is there so actually we are lucky that krishna is speaking directly only in geeta that bhagwan is actually speaking directly to arjun and arjun is also speaking to arjun uh, to krishna that this atatai that definitely speaking atatai but in the shastra me speaking that uh, for ashwatai in manu samhita also it is written who was doing ashwatai still you have to kill them but still arjun speaking that uh, sinful activities he is actually doing but we have to kill them but what is actual use by killing them all that meva means affirmative definitely what is the use of killing them that we are actually definitely we will get more and more sins in our life by killing them all so what is the use of killing them all arjun asking to krishna it is not at all good to kill them at all but and sajjano ko mar ke kya fayda just by killing them what is the use of killing our own relatives and our own 
क्लोज वंस हे माधव जस्ट बाई किलिंग अवर ओन क्लोज वंस वॉट इज एक्चुअल यूज हाउ वी कैन गेट द हाउ वी कैन गेट आउट ऑफ द सिनफुल थिंग्स बाई किलिंग अवर ओन क्लोज वंस वॉट हाउ कैन द एक्चुअल सोल्यूशन कैन कम हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल टू किल दैम ऑल इज इट पॉसिबल इज इट नो नॉट एट ऑल यू आर जस्ट गिविंग मी वन आर्ग्यूमेंट दैट्स इट that those who are actually doing association of agni who is actually just taking poison on his own and just by taking the weapons and eminence he is actually going to kill in and to murder others just by their open weapons and eminence and he can just take away all the treasure he can stole that that he is actually just looting the stri ratna he is actually taking away the daughters and the wives from the house and the women as well so this actually actually is considered in atatai isko marna chahiye this definitely you have to kill isko marne se koi dosh nahi there is no uh, in the shastra it is written that there is uh, no fault in kill, uh, in killing that person that duryodhan and sect try we make a vichar they are all atatai that from uh, the starting of their birth like this they are already doing all the time up till now also they are doing the same sometimes they are actually he is giving the laddu of poison in order to kill him and it is because krishna was there that's why he has just thrown it in the water that's why he got saved by krishna he that kind of poison is already given by duryodhan and he has just fired up the yadugraha ya house of yadu and that her wife draupadi he has just want to uh, abduct draupadi also he that he actually have that kind of effort to just abduct kunti devi also it is up till this point also that when he is in the forest when when the panj then banwas when panch panda was in the forest he see so much he is actually making efforts to abduct kunti devi and in this whole sabha he actually wants to put off the clothes of draupadi so you see that all those things are uh, who is taking he has looted everything and he has just taken the whole capital of uh, looted that and has stolen the treasure and also has uh, given away his wife and daughters to others and has just want to so what atatai in order to kill him what is the use definitely he is not at all getting any kind of sinful activity so what is the use of killing them so for those five pandavas this atatai what kind of symptom we are seeing whatever symptom i am actually telling you of atatai this and in nitya shastra also you can see hingsa sarva bhutani kisi prani ko to and any of the jiva you don't need to give udveg and don't need to kill him at all like in chandigarh math in panchkula while doing pravachan in harika and doing harikatha that openly i have told that this kind of word of the shastra unnecessary use of the shastra is not at all good the actual vachan of the shastra if you are taking unnecessary advantage hiranyakashipu also wants to take that unnecessary advantage it is not at all good those who are demons they can also quote scriptures demon jo vasur jo hai so demons are there those who are rakshas they also can just quote scriptures and they will not at all following that in their own life here actually it's written uh, in full so this actually is there our shri chaitanya jit amrit is there kare udvegna devi kahe mono bakche kare udvegna devi by body speech and mind you don't need to give any kind of udveg to any of the jeevas it is not at all good to do that is the actual point but to take unnecessary advantage of this point is not at all good and in front of each and every jeeva in order to put that i am a sadhu and i am not at all giving any udveg to any man but uh, the actual uh, top most sadhu is that definitely i will give him udveg just for his mangal actual mangal so they are actually speaking opposite that i have already told you yesterday regarding this it means that on to the uh, side of dhritarashtra whosoever are there 
we will be just killing them all and what kind of uh, bad activity which we will uh, get out of that nothing can be done what kind of priti we can get by just killing them who are on the side of dhritarashtra so like this arjun slowly steadily speaking and and trilok adhipati after getting that what kind of someone actually wants to give me that i don't have that desire to attain that but what will what i will do by attaining all those things that his own relative all his relatives what he is seeing outside externally these are in this material world this is just a relative world and arjun this conception what what he is developing and this is actually true that this uh, because because this relative world is definitely this relative world is temporary in nature prabhupad ji actually also has written one book regarding this that the truth that is this relative world relative world all kind of relative relationships what we are getting it's all relative that my time place whatever we, i am actually put into it is if on the actual base platform of atma everything is temporary everything is relative this my uh, house my mother father relatives my brothers everyone my money everything whatever i can see it is all relative in nature this is to very easy to speak but in practically in order to get into our life only then only we can understand how it is difficult just nobody wants to leave even one paisa one single penny <laughs> and they want to become sadhu so it's very easy to speak but practically to get into in life very difficult just if we'll get the tribhuvan also but still but in this relative world arjun having this uh, this relative world arjun is put into this kind of relative relationships are there and that atma relationship what is having with the other atma it is not at all relative and when atma is getting that external body then definitely it is having some relationship with this uh, temporary world relative world and arjun now uh, for rishi muni is also in the nyaya shastra it is written for them it is very difficult for them also to leave this kind of uh, conception of the relative world for rishi muni is in order to quit that to leave that this is my son you see the son of dronacharya was killed so just by uh, hearing that you see what his condition became what happened to him so it is uh, no she is not a no he is not a normal person but still the still, still this relative world is there but uh, this uh, whatever relation we are finding in uh, relation to that in order to just cut that it is very much difficult next to impossible if you can speak to speak very it's very uh, easy but to do practically is very difficult and up till now this relative relationship of this relative world that we will be just not at all diverting it towards krishna then there is no chance of our growth in our life spiritual life apparent apparently of this um, material or relative world it is nothing definitely it is every person will go away you don't know that this uh, world is of two, two days only but just by knowing that also it is equal to unknowing fullness just to know that or to be unknown of the fact it is just equivalent that when you have some kind of information for something and that to having scientific explanation with practical uh, appreciation you are having with full practical realization you are having and this uh, the full realization you are getting one particular point then it is of use otherwise what is of that use so like this arjun now he is speaking a very big uh, theory in front of krishna by speaking and krishna just uh, silently hearing his uh, th- theory so called theory and uh, conception he is hearing and uh, just like a big pandit he is speaking in front of krishna that you see this atatai what do you mean by atatai atatai means that uh, 
that uh, all those who worst things or those who are devilish persons that do are those who are killing uh, uh, her own husband and relatives and who is just taking her wife away from the house and just uh, giving it to others and just giving poison to others all these things are atatai in manu samhita also it is written that just by seeing the atatai what will happen atatai about this atatai that bhagwan also in shrimad bhagavat mahapuran is already written there when ashwatthama when uh, he was taking ashwatthama to arjun then bhagwan shri krishna is speaking to arjun that you see in order to kill a brahmin that atatai should be killed atatai should be killed definitely you have to kill atatai and after that when when you distin maharaj his what is the actual uh, wish of uh, yudhishthir maharaj and uh, draupadi's wish and what is the wish of the bhim sen just by checking that after hearing that what to do after that actually it is written that you see that atatai definitely this is correct but this uh, brahma bandhu even brahma bandhu also brahma bandhu means just the titled brahman he is just by name he is brahman and he has no work of brahman at all he has no uh, work or no qualities of a brahman and he is just doing opposite what a brahman is having the qualities and characteristics definitely he is uh, has taken birth in brahman kul but it's he is not at all brahman dronacharya he is actually the son of dronacharya even he is brahma bandhu also be is but even he is title brahman also still you do you can't kill him it's written in the shastras if he is doing atatai also definitely atatai should be killed after that that final conclusion the final vichar of arjun was that that okay whatever we want to do you can do like this bhagwan bhagwan's each and every vichar is actually to- transcendental in nature krishna will not speak directly he will just speak indirectly uh, in an opposite way if you want to take you can take and the, but in gita we can see the direct pravachan instructions of bhagwan shri krishna we are so much lucky to get that that this whole things are krishna actually speaking in front of arjun the direct instructions and arjun speaking this atatai they like i am actually speaking atatai but uh, definitely we have to kill atatai in any how knowingly and knowingly we have to kill that we have to but still arjun speaking that sinful person i am just getting sinful activities just by killing them all what is the actual use of killing them affirmative it is used it means that we are actually top most sinful persons what why what is the actual uh, good we will get by killing them it is not at all good to kill them and and what is the actual use by killing our own relatives hey madhav to kill our, all our own close ones what will uh, what the what is the use i'll get what is the usefulness of killing them how i can get uh, happiness in my life by killing them all how i can get happiness in my life by killing them is it possible to get happiness no not at all those who are actually getting agni sanyog association with agni and who is taking poison and by taking the weapon in his hand in order to kill others he just want to murder others by taking the weapons in his hand and just by looting the whole uh, treasure and he is taking all the treasure and uh, looting it and who is actually just uh, raping 
and he is just taking uh, and raping those uh, women. These are actually, all these six are actually categorized in Atatai, are counted in Atatai. It definitely you have to kill those kind of categorical persons. Definitely you have to kill them. You will not at all get any kind of, uh, um, any kind of sinful activities by killing them. You see Duryodhan, he is actually, he is all, it is all Atatai because he is Ansh of Kali. From the beginning, you can see, he has just, do, he is doing all such kind of mischievous activities up till now. Once uh, he is actually killing, giving some uh, a poisonous laddu in order to kill Bhim. Just by the support of Krishna, he is actually getting uh, uh, helped out by Krishna, saved by Krishna. And sometimes he is getting, giving them poison. And in Yadugra, he is just putting the fire of the Yadugra house of Yadu. And he is... And uh, the wife of uh, Pandava, Draupadi, he wants to kidnap that. And uh, he just wants to take the Draupadi uh, away from the Pandavas just by kidnapping her. Even if, even you can see when, uh, uh, at the time when Pandavas in the, were in the Vanvas, in the jungle, when they were in jungle at that time also, he is so much, uh, uh, he is so much sinful. And in this whole sabha, when all the Pandavas were there and Kauravas were there, he just want to make Draupadi Maan naked. So this is all kind of uh, six kind of persons categorically are Atatai and they need to get killed. This is already written in the Shastras. So all these qualities, six qualities which I have already described previously, it is already there in Duryodhan. So this is Atatai. So definitely uh, it is written in Shastras to kill them but you will not at all get any sinful activity by killing those atatai persons so for those five pandas this atatai this actually symptoms are there all kind of symptoms i've already told you regarding atatai and in the niti shastra also it is written for any kind of jiva don't give any Udveg, don't need to know any Hinsa on any Jeeva. I have already done in Panchkula and Chandigarh in Bharikatha, I have already told. Openly I have told that, you see, this is actually just one kind of uh, unconditional advantage you are taking of the Shastras. The actual version of the Shastras to getting the unconditional advantage, Hiranyakashi also wants to take that. Though demons are there, they, those who are asuras, they are also on the basis of shastra, they are speaking shastras, and but they are not at all practically uh, abbreviating that in their life. So this is the actual praman what we are getting. So this uh, what our Chaitanya Charitamrit by, by body, speech and mind, you don't need to give any kind of advaik to the jivas, it is not at all good to and give them uh, hinsa. This is actually jiv hinsa. Huh. So on this point, they are actually taking unnecessary advantage of that. And in front of all the all the all the persons, we want to speak that I am actually sadhu. I am not at all giving any udveg to others. But the actual sadhu is that definitely I well, definitely I'll give him udveg just in order to get his actual mangal. But they are speaking all unnecessary opposite. So tomorrow I will be definitely starting it in the beginning. So like this, Arjun now what actually speaking that uh, it is just weakness of my heart, Hirde Dorbalya. So in the Niti, according to Niti Shastra also, They are actually actual uh, reason for the sinful activities according to the Niti Shastri if you can go. And the otherwise you can do the which are from the other side that these are these are actually on the side of Atatai. So definitely they should be killed. This is the actual vichar. Atatai definitely has to be killed. And uh, in order to kill Gurujans it is not at all good at all. In order to give uh, them a uh, slight uh, un uncomfort also, it's also not very good. So this is uh, the actual work of Vaishnavas, not to give any discomfort to pure Guru Vaishnavas. 
by body speech and mind they are not at all giving any kind of udveg to anyone but by their uh, but arjun can't see this because the situation of arjun is just like that because he can't see the actual thing he is not at all getting uh, the actual mood his mind has become totally frickled and his situation in this situation what to do and what not to do he is unable to uh, get that bhagwan actually is very clever when ashwatthama actually is just take, uh, is taken uh, in front of uh, all the pandavas was caught arjun just caught him and put him in front of yudhishthir just like just like a beast just like a beast he is putting it in front of uh, draupadi and other pandavas atatai definitely should be killed that brahma bandhu you should you can't kill and bhagwan at last has speaking this siddhant on the, above from this kind of vichar we can get and from the other side the, the vichar is totally different paripahi means paripahi anushasanam anushasanam means that according to the shastras the actual vichar according to that only you have to go that paripai anushasanam that what kind of vichar written in the shastras that what actually you have to do what is the actual thing you have to do that just by respecting the shastras what you need to do you have you can do that arjun actually also just uh, get stuck into this kind of uh, thinking yes definitely we have to kill this uh, brahmabandhu but no we, it is not at all good to kill even a brahmabandhu who is titled brahman and now he is speaking and you dishtin maharaj actually speaking this and uh, draupadi ji actually speaking that okay you just leave her you just leave him definitely just leave him no, not to do anything to him so it is he she is actually guru putra he is a son of guru dronacharya you just leave him draupadi ji speaking devi draupadi devi but the actual thing is that pure guru vaishnava are very merciful draupadi is actually vaishnavi so she is actually merciful and she is actual topmost intimate friend of uh, bhagwan shri krishna top very deep and very open heart she is having and all the persons were actually killed but still draupadi inside heart of draupadi that uh, only <coughs> mercifulness is there but bhim shem is speaking you just need to kill you just need to kill him bhim actually he is actually speaking you just need to kill this kind of rascal and draupadi speaking that no 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 if you will kill him definitely i know that i know that uh, after killing our my own sons what kind of condition i am getting but if you will kill him then definitely what will be the condition of guru dronacharya and uh, is there the actual guru patni what will be the actual condition of the wife of guru dronacharya i can know that i can know the feeling of that so draupadi is speaking that you just need to uh, leave leave him so krishna what is the actual conclusion of krishna regarding this what krishna want to speak regarding this in order to understand that arjun 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 Bra- in front of brahmabandhu ashwatthama he just need to put a shave shave of the head and just need to take the money from the head of ashwatthama just taking it off and total blood is coming out of his head oozing out and he the money is money from his head is just getting thrown away and that same person and for same person that is actually very is more derogatory than by killing a, a person that kind of respect if you are disrespecting him completely and if he is just shaving your head and with full disrespect you are just throwing him away it is more than just by killing a brahmin more and more than because this is some respect is there of this material body and if the respect is gone everything is gone so krishna bhagwan this abhipraya in order to understand that in between the both the things of whether to kill him or not to kill him the neutral conclusion came 
दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू डिसरिस्पेक्ट हिम विद फुल डिसरिस्पेक्ट ऑन विद फुल डिसरिस्पेक्ट यू हैव टू थ्रो हिम अवे जस्ट लाइक अ बीस्ट एंड जस्ट बाई शेविंग हिज हेड ऑफ एंड टेकिंग हिज मनी अवे एंड मनु महाराज ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग वेद स्थिति इट इज एक्चुअली द सिम्टम्स ऑफ धर्म एंड द लाइफ ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव यू कैन सी द अदर्श आचरण दिस इज ऑल्सो धर्म टॉप मोस्ट फिक्स धर्म शौच आचार्य वॉट एवर यू कैन सी सो मनु महाराज स्पीकिंग This Manu Maharaj actually speaking according to the Shastra, Arjun has done the Acharan according to the Shastras only, and Arjun now has done lot of pravachan up till now, but still he is actually doing the pravachan in front of Krishna also, and he is speaking that may. If all these people, their uh, mind is out of order. the uh, against persons if their mind becomes out of order because my mind should also get out of order then definitely they are not at all seen if some lobe some greediness is there jealousy is there and greediness is there inside their heart because there is no uh, because greedy person can do anything there is no um, no medication for them at all maybe they are actually getting full of greedy greedy bhav inside their heart all their my actual mind and actual intelligence they are actually losing they are not at all seeing this at all that all their relatives and close relationship relatives they will be killing that they can get sinful activities out of that and what will be the actual result after killing all those relatives and uh, getting all those sinful activities in their life what will be the actual far reaching consequence of that what will be the future consequences of all this so maybe <coughs> maybe lova aparat chetasaha kulakshay kritam dosham mitto dohi ch patakam katham na geyam asmadhi पापाद अस्मानो निवर्तुम कुलक्षितोषम प्रपश्यनादन Hey, oh, Janardhan. These all people just by greediness, they have so greediness inside their heart that they are not at all seeing at all. Just by seeing, they are actually not at all seeing it at all. And Arjun, hey Arjun, just uh, treasure and all this capital kingship, their intelligence has just gone away, and they are just becoming unintelligent. And Duryodhan, etc. All what. will be the far future consequences of all this just by killing your close relationships and relatives and all your brother fathers what kind of uh, sinful activities he will procure he is not at all seeing that but but we can see that no we have can have this kind of vichar uh, uh, buddhi we have that intelligence no we can see that so why we we have to do why we should be why should not we getting away from the fighting and we will not at all be fighting in this battlefield because we know that just by killing all these what can be the actual consequences all those sinful activities will get matured and i will be just getting away from the battlefield and it is very good i will not be getting these sinful activities so this kind of uh, intelligence everything is gone from the mind of duryodhan but my mind actually is working so just by what all uh, the consequences can come by killing our own relatives because this sinful by actually i am not at all uh, can get away from all these sinful activities by not killing them and by just getting away from the battlefield by not at all fighting with them arjun speaking to Ar- krishna but according to the shastras it is there in the battlefield if khatriya has just came on the battlefield that dharm yudh is a very big thing bhagwan shri krishna speaking that this uh, is more than a battle that even any anyone who will be killed on this uh, battlefield it is not at all good to get uh, withdraw from the battle once you are there on the battlefield satranj pasak 
you can see the chess game also that at the time of uh, the khatriya cannot go away from the battlefield if he is there on the battlefield sometimes his mind can go off and he has just went to the chess and just playing the chess game but the actual rule of the khatriya it is that that this kind of chess game or any kind of uh, like baldav ji maharaj krishna rukmini everyone has came there on the assembly no bhajakata bhajakata capital rukmi that the actual uh, big brother of rukmi rukmini rukmi is only one brother is there of rukmi that is rukmi big brother and there his uh, his her uh, uh, sister in order to just get married uh, with uh, rukmini everyone just came there and krishna son everyone has just came there and at that time baldav ji maharaj actually speaking that if you are kshatriya you can come and have a have a play of chess with me and there at what time some duplicity can be there some kind of cheating can also be there in that play baldav ji maharaj also some kind of cheating already was done with baldav ji maharaj also but there also shakuni he is also very much cheater number 1 he is duplicious in and he is doing all kind of duplicious activity and is number 1 fraudster and what kind of playing he was doing with yudhishthir maharaj already played and in that he is actually fraud fraudster number 1 cheater number 1 he has having duplicity mood and because of that and total adharma he is on the way of adharma Uh, then adharm was hidden there in that game and he just uh, threw all the pandavas in the jungle so that they can go into the jungle after that so this all these people they are not at all seeing that just by uh, an intelligence they are not at all having this which are but we should uh, can get this uh, consequence what far reaching consequence can be there in future we have to see that so this kind of uh, battle for those uh, to just go on to the battlefield and not doing uh, or whether to just lose in this uh, chess it is uh, strictly prohibited for kshatriyas definitely they have to go on to the battlefield and to just came out from the battlefield definitely it is not at all good for kshatriya this is the actual vichar of shastras so kshatriya once come on battlefield he has to fight but arjun speaking that this is actually just like a pravachan of dharma what he is speaking ओल्ड फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टाइम दोलोइंग दैट स्लोली स्टेडली and if their dharm is getting destroyed totally when dharm is actually totally destroyed kulam krishnam adhar adharma obhi bhavati uto tabhi then at that time adharm is actually getting uh, established when dharm is vanquished then only adharm is getting established kula dharma adi sab kula dharma etc just by destroying everything that adharma will definitely can get established in this whole material samaj and it will just get uh, spread and it will be just putting them onto the opposite direction adharma bhi bhavat krishno pradu shanti kula striya adharma ka paida hua that adharma is actually getting born is established in the whole uh, the whatever kind of uh, women are there also this kula striya also they will also be getting on the, the opposite uh, pathway and uh, they will be going on to the adharmic platform pradushanti kulastriya dushit ho jayegi there uh, everyone will just get um, uh, contaminated and if uh, women are getting contaminated that uh, all those uh, wicked women who are already contaminated by adharma 
ऋषिवंश ओ ऋषिवंश प्रदीप द एक्चुअल लैंप ऑफ द ऋषि ऋषिकुल देन वर्ण शंकर कैन कलकम देन हाइब्रिड मिक्स्ड adulteration can come uh, varna shankar can come varna ashram then will get totally destroyed if the woman will get contaminated brahman shudras that shudras will come to shudrani everyone they, this will become a mixed breed hybrid will come and there will be varna shankar will get developed definitely it will be done what to do nobody can stop that at all definitely it will be done so this is the actual condition If Varna Shankar will be there, then hybrid will be there. Mixed uh, breed will come, and whatever kind of uh, mixed uh, Varna Shram Dharma is there, it will just get uh, totally destroyed, and all kind of uh, misconception will be there all the way. And even Varna Shankar is there; it is very, it is still this hybrid uh, 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 crops and hybrid grains you are taking. It is actually strictly prohibited. But still, you are taking that. This is strictly prohibited to take hybrid crops and grains. In that, according to this Yagya Valka speaking in the Garud Puran, also lot of uh, proofs are there of this uh, adulteration and Varna Shankar. In Manu Samhita, also this kind of thing written. according at the time of ben ben uh, king ben that kind of uh, that kind of varna shankar condition already came there when every person is just uh, uh, treated like a beast about this uh, yagyavalka ji also speaking regarding varna shankar yagyavalka sangeeta garur puran also it is written there and pratilom atulom jo that opposite pratulom anilom means mixed jati mixed hybrid uh, uh, hybrid uh, species will come and manu samhita also is it also written that at the time of ben king ben also that kind of uh, hidden uh, at the time of ben maharaj that kind of uh, beastly beastly conception or beastly behavior with the persons is actually uh, we can see and that is the actual establishment of varna shankar before that it was not at all there pratilom anulom pratinom anulom mixed breed that uh, mother is brahmin and the father is shudra or the opposite can be done the opposite can also be there that father is brahman and mother is uh, uh, shudra so like this everything is mixed khatriya brahman everything is mixed and now uh, nothing is there in today in the today's world now nothing is uh, left all actually all foolish political leaders they are speaking they are speaking all actually is equivalent they are speaking it all everything is equivalent bhagwan shri krishna more than them also they are speaking like that they are actually speaking like that all foolish conception everything is equal equality foolish number 1 sankaro narakayo ivo kulagnanam kulasacha that shankar varna shankar varna shankar when it is actually actually established getting established then definitely after getting varna shankar the hellish uh, door door of hell will definitely get open because no kind of rules and regulations of this sansar will be there and no nishta will be there at all it will open the doors of hell for everyone lukta pindo tav kriya patanti pitoro hi esha eloka purva jo jo that whatever there is there in their previous life whatever kind of previous karm what they have done tarpan karna that in order to get rectified those kind of karms just to do pind daan just to give water all will actually just get um, extorted it will just get vanquished day by day why because nobody knows about that how to do these all kind of activities all pita pita mahad when they will be leaving their body then 
you just need to give tarpan and pind etc to them on their name and everything will get uh, dropped when uh, this varnashankar will be there so everyone will go towards hell that opposite reverse direction towards hellish conditions will go and all everything will be getting destroyed completely in pitrog that uh, once in a year that kind of pind dharm water everything you just need to do that that the actual thing is there that that our that uh, whatever daily water and whatever daily nutrition we are taking it in one year we have to once in a year we have to give them because they are getting daily food uh, on the basis of what we are giving giving it once in a year whatever uh, our one year is it is one day for them so according to that at least for once you just need to once in a year you have to give them pin water and darpan to them it is very much important and necessary to the pitri paksha it is very much necessary to give them all this food stuffs and water so like this all kind of uh, uh, unrationality will be getting then everything will get destroyed and what will happen that previous uh, that without pind dan without water nothing will be there then lot of lot of uh, hellish conditions will get created and doors of hell will be open for everyone and after that Uh, it i will be just discussing it tomorrow this by this dosh what will happen that uh, this it will get increase more and more more and more and the whole uh, uh, members of their family will just get destroyed completely and so much this varna shankar this varna shankar in order to the kind of rules uh, which is actually all kind of rules what is there everything will just get destroyed of their of that particular family that jati dharm those who are actually the ved vedic nishta everything will just get destroyed completely that previous kind of rules all actually is there the sanatan dharma's uh, rules and regulations are there everything will get destroyed all kul dharma everything will just get vanquished and what will be there everything will get distorted and destroyed so like this uh, slowly steadily by doing that arjun is actually speaking to bhagwan shri krishna he is speaking to him after that he is speaking that when when his mouth just got shut then bhagwan shri krishna started speaking his siddhant actual siddhant bhagwan now is actually speaking him that this what you are speaking is unintelligent this is not at all the actual gyan what you are speaking this is actually weakness of your heart what you are speaking so like this bhagwan actually speaking to him to i will be speaking it later on this vishay maybe tomorrow up till this point today i will be just leaving जे बामयीशे कितसौ हिदार्थ जौने शुदेहांतरवार्तिकेशु गेहे सुजायात्मजराति मत्सु नौप्रीतियुक्ता जवदार्थाश्चलोके वांछकल्पतरुषिके पासिन्दु व्यवच्छ पथितानं पावने भवेश्वर भ्यो नमो नमः